and today I'm going to review this wireless Bluetooth NFC capable self-contained speaker unit made by JVC. The model number is SPABT1 and I got this a couple days ago. It's a lightweight unit and with a good construction you can see it has a solid aluminum frame which also functions as a carrying handle and it has two rubber feet on the bottom to not scratch the surface and if we zoom in here you can see on the side it has the power switch audio input it's a 3.5 millimeter jack that you can connect to any device that has 3.5 millimeter audio output such as your computer and here's the micro USB charging port and on top you can see there is the Bluetooth button and the volume control buttons and on the back you don't really have anything just the two speakers facing this direction and here you can see a little NFC logo which means if you bring an NFC enabled device such as this Nokia PureView 808 which I'm using to film next to this little logo here it will set up the Bluetooth profile and connect the two devices automatically so saving you the work to manually pair them. This unit weighs about half a kilo or about one pound so it's fairly light and it's easy to use just switch it on and you see this L LED light and it makes a sound. To connect it to a device that has Bluetooth but not an FC such as this Apple iPod touch I have to en enable Bluetooth in the setting and then press and hold this button for the first time pairing and once you see the light I think the light blinks or let me see let me try that again so you hold it for a few seconds yes when you see this light blinks and you can choose it from your device and now it says connected and you can play it and it's pretty simple you can just play it through the speaker now and you can use your device to increase the volume and now on the iPod touch the volume is set to the maximum however you still have room to increase the volume even further on the device itself and for classical music it's not bad now remember this is not the front of the speaker so to get the best sound you want have this part facing you. Now let's try some other type of music. See what I have here. Okay, try another one. This is U2 from the album Sons of Innocence, California.
Now I'll try another one. Another one. Okay, let's see what else do I have here. Try, don't wait. The bass is not so strong because obviously this is small unit and you can use the center button as an audio control to pause you pause the song or play it again I mean for the size of the unit the bass is not bad I mean don't expect anything that is you know very strong or desk shaking but you know you can feel there is the texture of the bass so now let's try another song and this is Tardis Negras by Tiziano Ferro and this is the Spanish version of his Italian song Okay, now for the last testing song, I will use Poker Face by Lady Gaga. So as you can see, it gets pretty loud, especially for a room that's about 300 square, meet, uh, 300 square feet. You can hear the speaker really well. And um, the, uh, the battery life, I haven't really tested it, but from the specification, it should last more than 8 to 10 hours. And for a unit that's under $120, it's not a bad deal if you're looking for a Bluetooth speaker.